Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be ranking Blackpink's stage outfits. Blackpink are known for their fashion, so I thought it would be fun if I said whose outfits I like the best during specific live stages, performances, concerts, events, etc. I wanted to do this because, well, I'm bored, but also because there is much controversy surrounding Blackpink's style. Jenny is allegedly the member of the group that gets the best outfits and is favored by the stylists and YG. While on the other hand, Lisa gets the worst outfits and so on and so forth. This is sort of like the stereotype for the group. In reality, outfits really don't amount to anything, but for some reason, styling plays a huge deal in a K-pop group's look. So here we are. Please don't take this too seriously. We all have different opinions, and if we all liked the same things, imagine how boring life would be, and I wouldn't have a YouTube career. So with that being said, let's go through Blackpink's fashion history together, and we'll see who I think is dressed the best, because clearly, I'm qualified. Let's get started. Let's go. Rose's knee high socks, the suspenders, her sheer black blouse, the color scheme is perfect. This is one of my favorite looks on her of all time. Rose's outfit for sure stands out to me here. Every time I show up, no. Jisoo's fit here is so elegant and well put together. The white lace turtleneck and the chunky gold belt really pull the look together. Also, Jenny's glitter pink top and the hoop earrings are iconic. The stylist honestly did Rose and Lisa dirty though with those blouses. Like, really now? Really? This live stage was pretty evened out regarding their fashion, but out of all of these, Rosé has the best outfit. Her sequin shirt with the little black skirt is cute as hell. It's a tasteful look that stands out to me. I'm not really too sure what happened in Lisa's situation. Like, honestly, what is the... I, I, I don't know. Hey, boy. Make a whistle like a missile. Bum, bum. Bitch, none in solo. Jenny most definitely got the best outfit here. It's very Blair Waldorf, Gossip Girl, Chanel chic looking. Don't y'all love my descriptions? Ugh, I love being a fashion analyst. But I also loved Jisoo's black dress with her earrings and that black bow. Literal perfection. Bitch, none in solo. These outfits were kind of all over the place, but clearly orange is the new black because this is one of Rosé's superior looks. I'm obsessed with this outfit. It looks ravishing on her body. She looks stunning here. We also need to talk about Jisoo's dress. She looks like a straight up princess. I feel like I would have liked Jenny's dress more if it weren't for the print. And I don't even know where to begin in regards to Lisa's shirt, so let's just move on. <laughs> I am so obsessed with this performance. It has like 23 million views and I probably make up a good chunk of those views because it's iconic. But yeah, Jenny got the best outfit here. She brought out the hoops again for us. Her outfit looks very glamorous and I like that. Rose and Lisa were hard to decide for second place, but that tight little striped dress Rose wore saved so many lives. I'll tell you that much. Listen, there are many things I'm unsure of about this world, but one thing I am sure of is this outfit on Kim Jisoo, Lord help. I am so obsessed with this era and its styling. Jisoo stands out with her flowy, free people looking blouse with the choker. Whoo! Rose and Lisa killed it with the high-waisted shorts, and Jenny's top is super pretty. 
Each of their outfits are super different, but they all work so nicely together. Like, oh wow, this is a legendary live stage. Jenny's little black Chanel dress is just about the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like, please hand it over, donate it to the poor. I need it. I want it bad. But this performance is very memorable. The stylist showed up for work. They did their job. They delivered because I see not one error on these girls. I'm obsessed with Lisa and Jisoo's white tops. Everything is just so correct, but unfortunately, I think Rose's outfit was a bit underwhelming compared to the other girls, but overall, they came to kill. Although all of their outfits alone look really good, I am still so obsessed with Jenny's outfit here. It hugs her figure to perfection and matches her cool style. Rosé stands out the most, honestly, because of her white dress compared to the other girls' darker dresses. But all in all, Jenny got the best outfit and I seriously want it now. It's very chic, expensive looking compared to the others. Honestly, she looks sexy as hell. <laughs> Again, Jenny's outfit is the best. I mean, I can't even lie to myself at this point. Like, I would seriously buy that shirt and wear it. It looks like something I would, you know, be attracted to. She just, honestly, she kind of gives me Slytherin vibes here, and I'm not complaining. She, like, only needs her platinum wig, and it'll be a perfect Slytherin look. But Lisa's actually close second because of her little two-piece outfit. It's not a typical Lisa outfit, and that's why I love it so much. Like, you can't even sit here and tell me this is not one of Lisa's best looks. Like, you really can't. This live stage was definitely one of the more difficult ones to choose between because, let's be honest, every single outfit here is so good. Like, if I were idle, I would want to wear all these outfits, but I'm not and never will be, so I'm crying. But, Jenny's really is the best. I mean, that glittery crop top, the shorts, the stockings, everything about this outfit is iconic and really well put together. But honestly, I feel like the stylists really played it safe with Rose's outfit. Like, I feel like she's worn that same outfit before. Honestly, I don't know. It's cute though, we stand. Are y'all seeing a pattern here? Because I know I am. But I think I love Jenny's baby doll butterfly dress so much because it's just so unique and kind of unexpected from her. So she really shines here. She looks like an innocent little gumdrop or something. I just love the dress's style. Like that flare out from the bust. It's so freaking pretty. Like, oh, she's so cute and I love this dress. I feel like Rosé has worn that same outfit like so many times before, just like putting a sweater and making it a dress. I don't know, but I love Jisoo's outfit. So cute. She is a close second to Jenny. And honestly, Lisa's outfit's really pretty too. Oh, summer queens. <laughs> I am in love with Jisoo's outfit. She looks freaking amazing, and this live stage in general is just flawless, but seriously, well done on this dress. It's so pretty. I also live and breathe for Rose's dress as well. Oh, queen. Overall, I think these outfits are a little weaker compared to the others, but out of the four, Jenny's is the best. Lisa and Jisoo's outfits are pretty tame, but I think Rose's sparkly rainbow dress looks stunning on her. It really flatters her hair and her skin complexion, but I wish she would wear different shoes because she wears those same white Doc Martens like every day. Yeah, check out my 
Jenny, no question, got the best outfit. It's very detailed and looks well put together. I see the animal print theme going on with the other three girls, but Jenny's is the only outfit without animal print, which makes her stand out above the others. I also think Jisoo's um, outfit is great as well. I love Jisoo's cropped shirt, but maybe if it had different bottoms, she would be ranked first. But honestly, Jenny looks straight out of an anime or something with her pigtails and her outfit. It's just really unique and girly and fun. She definitely shines here. <laughs> Jisoo had to get first place considering that's the outfit she wore with her iconic pink wig moment in the music video and generally it's just a really good outfit that's fun and out of the ordinary. I think the design of it and the structure of the outfit looks so good on her figure. Seriously love all of these, but Lisa takes the crown here, no question. Her mini dress is so freaking cute, hiding under that big denim jacket. It gives like the outfit of feminine, but also retro hip hop -y kind of vibe to it, which I'm in love with. I think her style really gives some good energy to the stage that we can appreciate for sure. <laughs> Jisoo, sweetie, you look hot. Okay, like from the moment I saw her in this outfit, my sexuality flew out the window, but in all seriousness, this outfit works. Jenny also has some amazing pieces on as well, but her outfits are starting to look the same. Same with Rose, like they're repeating outfits just with different patterns and colors. <laughs> These fits right here shot me into the stratosphere and I'm still floating, okay? Oh my god, this outfit on Shay has to go down in the history books. She looks crazy hot with those boots and that long-sleeved crop top. Are you kidding? And I also love Jenny's outfit here as well. She looks super sultry like a vampire and I'm not mad at that concept. <laughs> Everyone say thank you and thank you again to Park Che Young for proving herself to be the prettiest woman that has ever graced this earth. Her sequin top reminded me of why I biased her in the first place. No, but seriously, Rose's outfit is my favorite because it's so unique and she finally tried a new hairstyle. Yes! Finally, she did something other than just having it down. Also, apparently red is Jisoo's destined color because that top was iconic and I think it broke Twitter or something. But in other news, I'm not too sure what happened with Jenny's outfit. It kind of looks like it was unfinished almost. I don't really know what's happening there, but other than that, iconic. <laughs> I think we all can come to an agreement that this was one of Blackpink's best performances to date. The styling was so tasteful. Okay, Jisoo is first because I'm in love with this dress, okay? It is super colorful with a mature fit to it. She looks super fine. Lisa is second because her two-piece glitter dress was honestly everything. Super unexpected from her, but really freaking pretty. And Rose's dress was pretty cute as well, but I wasn't really feeling Jenny's blazer, but I did like how she looked super comfortable performing in clothes like that like I can tell I don't know about you guys but I can tell a difference in Jenny's stage presence if she's wearing more comfortable clothes I mean <laughs> Once
once I saw these concert outfits, I was obsessed with them. They are so colorful and look super funky. Like, oh my gosh, I love them. But individually looking at them, you're kind of like, huh? But I did fall in love with Rosé's pink moment from the second I saw it. It's very unique and gives off a beautiful, like, honey golden undertone to it that flatters her perfectly. But each fit really does work with the members. I'm still just wondering why it looks like the, the designer got a little lazy with Jisoo's design though. Like, come on, Miss Korea deserves better, y'all. <laughs> These outfits scream queens. Jenny got the best outfit here though. Like hers is the only two piece outfit so she clearly stands out. But I mean you can never go wrong with a crop top high waisted moment right? But honestly I'm obsessed with each of these outfits. I honestly want to own all of them and just dance around wearing them in my room until I die. I'm Lisa, our human Barbie in the flesh, she stole the late show with Stephen Colbert. It's now the late show with La Lisa Monoban, okay? Because she killed this performance. And not to mention, her outfit really popped off. Like, Lisa's outfits rarely stand out to me, but I can promise you my eyes were glued to her the whole time she killed this. <laughs> Jisoo, my love, your outfit is so cute here. I want it. I want all their outfits, TBH. Okay, but for real, I feel like the stylist could have reached a bit more with these outfits, but I'm not complaining. Jisoo's outfit is really unique and unbelievably feminine and very pretty on her. I feel like this is a Jenny outfit, something she would wear, but for some reason it just screams Jenny. But Jisoo said, nope, it's my time to shine. <laughs> When I saw these outfits for the first time, I was shocked. They don't seem very black pink at all, but Rose's outfit is my favorite. She did not come to play. Clearly, Rose and a long sleeve crop top is the move because she looks drop dead gorgeous here. <laughs> At first when I saw these dresses, I was like, mm, interesting, why do they look like something Miley Stewart would wear? But honestly, I think they look super feminine and I don't know why I feel like they smell like fresh linens. I mean, they probably do realistically, but Rosé's baby blue dress is my favorite. She looks like a fairy tale princess, like Cinderella or something. Ah, queen. Okay, they really redeemed themselves with these outfits because holy shit, I can't believe they actually did this. Okay, they look incredible. Jenny's Laura Croft moment was too iconic to ignore. I love Jenny's body. Okay, I really love her body. This sounds creepy, but that girl is so well proportioned, it's actually sickening. And this outfit really ate. Okay, I can't get enough of Rose's gray moment as well. And Lisa and Jisoo's outfits are so badass. This is just, this was really hard. <laughs> Jenny, without a doubt, has the best outfit here. I love her blue thigh highs with her flowy black dress and her belt. Super gorgeous outfit. But I'm sort of baffled at how extravagant Jenny's outfit is compared to the others. Don't get me wrong, the other outfits aren't necessarily bad, but just in comparison with Jenny's, I'm kind of like, hmm, okay. <laughs> So 
Surprisingly, I think these colors weirdly complement each other, but in other news, when I saw Rosé's outfit for the first time, I was so happy because, oh my god, she looks so freaking good. Like, her top is next level beautiful, and she is serving some God say realness on James Corden, okay? <laughs> now time for iconic Coachella oh my god I still remember watching this live on YouTube and seeing them come out for the first time I honestly think I peed myself but outfits that's right outfits let's talk about outfits Rose made Coachella her bitch all right I'm not even gonna front her black dress was effortlessly beautiful I loved her diamond necklace and she honestly blew me away Lisa's two-piece stole the whole damn show let's be honest and her ponytail she in general broke the internet or something I think everyone was tweeting like who's that ponytail girl honestly though obsessed with these outfits they really exceeded all my expectations Just when I thought it couldn't get any better than Weekend 1, they pulled up and showed out for Weekend 2. I am in love with Jenny's outfit here. It screams festival, and she just looks like a mermaid, seriously. Like her long weave with her eye contacts and her little choker. Wow. The silver really complements her complexion, and Rosé's little lace sweater, like, oh my god, she looks so Coachella, I'm screaming. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, we are ending on Blackpink's North American tour. They're currently on this tour right now, and they brought out some new outfits. So I thought I would choose these ones to rank for you guys. And honestly, just look at these jewels glistening off Rosé's dress. Like, seriously? It looks like a proper concert outfit to me, and she's giving off major royalty vibes. And Lisa's outfit here, not to mention Slay's, it's so flattering. And I was shocked Lisa got this one because it looks more honestly like a Jenny outfit let's just be real right now but Jisoo's cut out top is stunning and weirdly enough for some reason I do actually like Jenny's outfit it's kind of strange looking but it seems kind of off at first but it's different and I like that overall well done on these stage outfits Okay, you guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed watching because, honestly, it has taken me over, like, two and a half months to make this video. I started planning a long time ago. I probably should be putting this much work into my school academics but priorities am i right no but seriously the school year is almost over and then it's summertime which means i'll have even more time to film videos i'm so excited yay summer okay i need to calm down anyways i love you guys and i'll talk to you very very soon bye <laughs>